In question 6, the problem statement says, using the given pattern, find the missing numbers. What is the given pattern? Well, if you look at these 6 statements that are given to us, the first 3 statements are completely specified. So we have 1 square plus 2 square plus 2 square equal to 3 square. We have 2 square plus 3 square plus 6 square equal to 7 square. And then 3 square plus 4 square plus 12 square equal to 13 square. And there is some pattern in these three statements that we have to find out. And then using that pattern, we have to complete the remaining three statements. And the remaining three statements are 4 square plus 5 square plus what square equal to 21 square. 5 square plus what square plus 30 square equal to 31 square. And then 6 square plus 7 square plus dash square equal to dash square. So we have to fill up all of these dashes. Now we are also given this hint here. The hint says to find the pattern third number is related to the first and second number, how? And fourth number is related to the third number, and again, how? So let's look at all of the numbers and try and find out the pattern between them. So let's take the first three statements and write out the four numbers in each statement. So in the first statement, from the first statement, we have the numbers 1, 2, 2 on the LHS, and then we have 3 on the RHS. In the second statement, we have the numbers 2, 3 and 6 on the LHS and we have 7 on the RHS and then in the third statement we have 3, 4 and 12 on the LHS and then we have 13 on the RHS. So if you observe these statements carefully for a bit, the pattern is actually quite simple to spot. 1 into 2 is equal to 2, 2 into 3 is equal to 6 and 3 into 4 is equal to 12. So the third number in each statement is simply the product of the first two numbers. And if you look at the number on the RHS, the fourth number, this is simply one more than the third number. So one more than two is three, one more than six is seven, and one more than 12 is 13. So this is the pattern that is there in these statements. Now let's use this pattern to complete the three statements. So we have four square plus five square. So the third missing number will be the product of four and five. So actually let me write the statements again. So we have 4 square plus 5 square and then we have plus dash square equal to 21 square. So what will go into this dash? So it will be 4 into 5, the product of the first two numbers. So this will be 20. Then the second statement, the fifth statement is 5 square plus dash square plus 30 square is equal to 31 square. So we know that the third number is the product of the first two numbers. So 30 is the product of 5 and 6. So in this blank we will have 6. And then the last incomplete statement is 6 square plus 7 square plus dash square equal to dash square. So the third number will be the product of the first two numbers which are 6 and 7. So the third number will be 42 and then the fourth number will be one more than the third number. So this will be equal to 43. So this is how we can complete the three incomplete statements. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.